Hey guys, I'm going to show you all Windows Developer Preview today. Um, you can kind of see me in this reflection, so it's going to be easier for me to talk um, without getting in front of the camera. I'm going to do it from boot, so you can see how long it's probably going to take for Windows 8 to load on most computers. Although, um, it probably will be a little more snappy um, as more betas come out. So here we go, selected the developer preview and you'll see it loading now. I've also gotten a better camera this time I'm using a Nikon D3100 so hopefully my video will be less choppy than it was last time when I was doing that little review. Um, so here it is booting up. And it boots to this nice little um, kind of lock screen. If you use a Windows phone, it kind of models that. Um, you get your date and your time over here in the left-hand corner. And you can see that it is Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, but you can actually use touch and swipe that out of the way. And here's my logon screen. Let me see if I can get that adjusted better for you all. And there's a goofy picture of myself. But you can also do login options. And one of the cool things is um, you can actually set a picture and use different points on the picture to log in. For example, I haven't done this in a really long time, so I don't know what points I set. But if you touch different areas, if you do it right, um, it actually lets you log in that way. Um, so, for example, if I had this and this and this as my login password, it would log me in if I touched those areas correctly. Um, but since I don't know that, I'm going to switch to my password. And when you log in, it looks like this. And this is the Metro UI that's been really controversial that a lot of people were um, complaining about. Um, it works pretty well on the touch screen. It responds really well to touch. Um, see, it, not a whole lot of lag. Um, but it's really weird how it works. If I go in here to an app, for example, and I write my name, um, it's also, you know, it's it uses multi-touch, which is really cool. I can write with two fingers and choose different colors. Um, but there's no X up here in the corner. You can't you can't just exit out of the application. You have to actually hit the start button on. Um, let me zoom out just a second. You have to actually hit the Windows key on your on your keyboard, which is really strange. I couldn't figure out how to get out of applications at first. I felt like an idiot. Um, there's also your regular desktop, um, which makes it even more strange because it's like why why include both. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, but hitting your start menu takes you right back to where you are. And the apps that are included all have a really nice um, really nice look to them. But if you install apps, they look like this. They're really terrible looking actually. Um, and they're real bland and they don't sort them very well. I don't have a whole lot installed. Um, but there's no from what I've seen on other, other videos, there's no real way of sorting these apps that are on your Metro UI. Um, so all of these apps right here are kind of touch-based. Um, for example, Internet Explorer from the Metro UI. If you touch this, it brings up you know, an on-screen keyboard, which is really weird because my computer obviously has a keyboard built in. So hopefully there will be a way to differentiate this um, when tablet specific versions come out because there's no point in me having an on-screen on keyboard and a regular keyboard. Um, for example, I can go here to Google and see there's not, you know, everything's kind of hidden. This isn't really like the full Internet Explorer. It's just the Internet Explorer window. There's no tabs up top or anything. Um, and then again, to get out, I have to hit the Windows key. But, I can also go to my desktop and go to this Internet Explorer. And this is good old Internet Explorer. 
you know, with your tabs up top and your address bar and everything. Um, and you can actually exit out of this. So basically, there's kind of like two different operating systems going on here. There's like a quick launch and one um, that you can do from this Metro UI that, that um, operates like independently from this other one. Um, also, I've noticed that Windows Explorer has a ribbon UI now at the top. Um, you can do a bunch of different things about sharing, viewing options, um, which makes that pretty cool. You can also kind of zoom, zoom in a little bit and zoom out. So touch does work, you know, throughout, throughout Windows 8, which is helpful. But I'm not so keen on my start menu going to the Metro UI. I've been using Windows for a really long time and I don't, I don't like that layout. I don't like how it takes me there and doesn't give me an option. Um, I think when Windows is installed, it should give you an option as to um, if you want to use the Metro UI, fine. If you don't, I think that should be an option too. Um, but as you see, here's a little bit of an overview of some of the apps that come installed, um, how they work, how the touch interface is coming, and that's about it for now. Um, there are some cool little apps installed, but I will keep y'all updated with the progress, and if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'll be glad to show off more if y'all request something, um, but for now, that's about it. Thanks.